inside the museum that originally powered this tank, we had to use a HL 230 engine that also powered Tiger 1s um, that we had a spare and that's the one that's actually driving this vehicle today. Now one of the issues as you can imagine we have is uh, tank mileage, we keep the track mileage down on this Tiger and we run it about three times a year. And famously we also took it up to the Fury movie as our Sherman you might have seen earlier, that was in the Fury movie as well and, uh, and it was filmed there. Basically, we have to be honest and say this Tiger tank is not going to run forever, so you're very privileged seeing it here today. Um, and we will try and keep it running, but what we're not going to do is damage it by running it too much or changing it too much. Now, we're going to see a tank coming on behind the Tiger, which uh, is the, uh, was brought to us by the uh, Dutch Army. They've, they're manning it and they brought over that ride vehicle. And it's a bit of a comparison to see because after World War II, reformed as the Bundeswehr, they put together a tank called the Leopard 1 and it was very different in concept to the Tiger. The Leopard 1, we saw them start the display today earlier on, very fast vehicle, thin armour, good gun on it. And uh, the amazing thing with the Leopard family of vehicles, the German Rheinmetall, the design parent body for this, They've kept that mobility with a whopping great MTU diesel engine in the back of the vehicle. They've kept the mobility up. They've added armour over time. So the vehicle you're actually looking at at the moment is what we would call a Leopard 2 variant. This particular one, a Leopard 2A4, and it's got thicker armour on it. It's had more armour added to the turret, you can see. It's got... Uh, the same powerful engine in the back there, the MTU diesel, to keep the mobility up. Um, but uh, what they've managed to do is increase the armour protection, but keep speed and mobility on the battlefield. Because the early idea was, whatever happens, if modern anti-tank weapons are going to hit you, you're going to be in trouble. So let's be speedy enough that those weapons don't have a chance of hitting us. Now, of course, uh, many countries, including the Dutch here, bought the Leopard from Germany. Lots of countries around the world have still got it into service. And lots of countries, fairly recently, decided that the tank was old hat. And the Dutch Army as well actually said goodbye to most of its Leopard fleet and sold them, or they were re-upgraded and they were sold on to Finland. Then, of course, the European situation has been changing over